It's every child's desire to be liked by their teacher, and six-year-old Harley Horner is no exception. After moving here from Alaska during COVID to live with her grandmother, adjusting had not been easy for Harley. But this JoJo CY unicorn from her kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Lyons, has surely helped. It made me feel good. Where does the unicorn stay? On my bed. Why? Because I sleep with it. And that's all Mrs. Stacy Lyons at New Century International Elementary School wanted to do. It was new for all of us entering this remote platform of learning. And I just wanted to help that little girl because she was just smiling every day. And you would never know that she was having issues because she was so bright and outspoken in the classroom. And then all of a sudden, you know, I just felt something from her connection. And I just wanted to share that love with her and let her know that I was here for her. Mrs. Lyons' care and concern even extended to Harley's empty nesting grandmother, who had not only become the little girl's guardian, but also took on a role that she was unprepared for. Life has thrown me a curve because of COVID. I am now teacher, something that I never expected nor desired to be uh, to my six-year-old granddaughter. And, um, whew, what a ball game that one is. I'll let you ask. And why would you say that's a ball game, Mitzi? It takes a special person to be a teacher. Not anybody can teach. Not anybody has that gift, and I believe it's a gift. Um, I don't have it because it's not my gift. However, um, we are blessed with Ms. Lyons. With virtual learning being new for practically everyone, Mrs. Lyons spent hours researching and through Class Dojo would send Harley's grandmother instructional and technology information to help her granddaughter. The teacher even got the school counselor involved to help Harley adjust to her new living arrangement. Without Ms. Lyons, Lyons you know, going the extra mile to say let's let's just try this and um the constant encouragement and the checking up to see follow through is it working is it helping is there something else that i can help you with um she just goes above and beyond she's very personal i don't feel like harley is a number in her class i feel like harley is not just Harley, but it's very personal. You know, every day she sends Harley messages specifically for Harley. Good job, Harley. I love that picture, Harley. You know, whatever it is, it's personal. It's not like a one message that you send out to all the children. She takes the time to be personal. And, and, and that it goes a long way. Mrs. Lyons' principal was certainly not surprised. I feel that Ms. Lyons is a special educator because she truly cares about her students. She wants to stay in contact with her students, with their family members, and she teaches the entire child, not just the academics part, but just making sure that all their needs are met. Having worked in the classroom for seven years, Mrs. Lyons has found that as a teacher, you often have to embrace different roles, especially since she's passionate about helping others succeed. Being in this field, um, you kind of step outside of just being a teacher. You, you learn that you are playing that role of being a supporter, and that support can look different for a lot of people. And when she was getting emotional and expressing her concerns to me, I, I just couldn't turn away knowing that not only am I, you know, an educator for Harley, but it's like we're a support team. And since we work together, I wanted her to know that, you know, I'm here to support her. And we connected in a way through that emotional bond where I think that even now she knows that if she has any concerns or anything, she can send me a dojo message no matter how early or how late, and I'll try to get back to her. At one point, Harley's grandmother had even discussed with Mrs. Lyons the possibility of moving the little girl to a private school for the chance to socialize with other children and face-to-face -face learning. 
we were considering in January putting Harley in a private school so that she could actually be around other children. And I had another conference and I discussed this with Miss Lyons who was very supportive. Of course, would hate to see Harley go, but was extremely supportive of whatever it took for Harley's well-being. The main thing was Harley's happiness and her physical and emotional well-being, which says so much. Of course, we're still here. We're not going anywhere. We're going to tough it out and keep praying that we can get in school. But I'm telling you, if Harley could have Miss Lyons through 12th grade, I would never let her go anywhere. That's how wonderful she is. Harley's grandmother appreciates Mrs. Lyons' support. She said it's meant everything to them. There have been so many times that I wanted to give up. Harley wanted to give up. So many tears, so many tears shed, but because of this one special lady, we're still here. We're still hanging in there. And I couldn't do it without her. So even though she's not here physically, she is the presence that keeps us happy, uh, well-rounded and stable. Um, she's an angel to me. She's a blessing. Wow. I, I've never really had anyone to describe me as an angel, but that really makes me feel kind of bubbly inside just knowing that I've, t I've made her feel that way about me. She just doesn't know how much I appreciate, I appreciate her as well. Like she, to me, she is Harley's angel. I feel like Harley is going through this remote process and excelling and progressing because of her. So I might be an angel to her, but she's an angel to Harley as well. And if I could hug her, I would hug her and I would let her know that if I could be Harley's one and only teacher, I would. She's a very sweet girl. They're a very sweet family. And I just wish that, you know, times were different where we could actually spend some quality time together. But I really do appreciate her. And I appreciate her using those words that really, that really touches me.